In this video, we're going to talk about timing. Now, we all know that the GMAT is a time test, right? So come test day, you're going to have to answer questions, quant questions in about two minutes, verbal questions in about a minute 30, right? So the realization that you're going to have to be reasonably fast come test day, well, it drives a lot of people to make a big mistake. And the mistake is that they start practicing timed from the very beginning of the course, right? Now, don't do that. The reason I don't want you to start practicing timed is you're never going to get faster by trying to go faster. Okay. And I want you to think about this, right? H how do you get faster at solving GMAT questions? Well, you get faster at solving GMAT questions by getting better, by recognizing them faster, by knowing what to do once you have recognized them, by being smooth with algebra, by not making mistakes, by having the mind where the content, the knowledge, and the skills to do well. You just can't go faster, right? But that's what tens of thousands of people try and do. Like, I gotta go faster, I gotta go faster. So what starts to happen is they just rush and they cut corners and they get questions wrong. Accuracy has to come first, okay? Imagine if you were running, right? And, and you, were, you were running a 10 minute mile and someone said, hey, we gotta get down to a seven minute mile. So just run faster. Like, okay, I'm trying to run faster, but you're not getting any faster, right? And that coach is like, just run faster, you know? You're like, well, I can't run any faster. Of course you can't run any faster because that's your max fitness. You don't get run, you don't get to run faster by all of a sudden saying, I'm gonna run faster. You actually run faster by slowing down, by running long distances, by doing yoga, by doing Pilates, by running the stairs. Yes, and working in some sprints and some speed work. But you start to run faster by actually becoming a better, more fit, stronger runner. Same thing on the GMAT. You don't get faster just by miraculously going faster. You get faster by mastering the material that's on the test. Think about the piano, one of my most favorite examples. You think you're gonna sit down and play some complicated music at the pace that the composer plays the first week you're playing the piano? No, and you know what? If you try and play at that pace from the beginning, you're gonna be stuck being slow and bad your whole life. Because when you're learning the piano, the brain needs time to build slowly. And what's happening is, as you're moving around, you're fumbling around in the keys, the brain is learning where the fingers need to go. Some months later, all of a sudden you're playing fast, only because you took the time in the beginning to learn slowly. That's exactly what I want you to do with this course. When you start, do not go for speed. Do not do the questions timed, okay? Take your time. Really sit with the question, struggle through it. You want to have that feeling, that uncomfortable feeling of, whoa, this sucks, but I'm going to push through it. And even if I don't get the right answer today, I'm going to eliminate answers. I'm going to squeeze as much juice out of these questions as I can. And then what's going to happen is instead of focusing on speed, you're going to focus on skill and the paradox about not focusing on speed, but focusing on skill is that focusing on skill is going to make you fast as hell. Now, the next question is going to be, well, hey, when do I speed up? Follow the set criteria in the study plan. The TTP course is going to progressively ask you to start going a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, right? And then by the time you get to the practice test phase, yeah, at that point, you will be working at an appropriate pace such that, yeah, you're trying to shoot for about two minutes per quant question. We'll talk a lot more about that later and maybe a minute and a half per verbal. We'll talk a lot more about that later. But by the time you get to the practice test phase, you'll have have the knowledge, the skills, the mind where to actually be fast.